bungalow. I'm fine, but I would like to know what you are doing with those binoculars. Oh, just my job, ma'am. The binoculars to be a tech hunt? Oh, no, ma'am. Mr. Timmons told me this morning that I'm the new lookout for the ship. The lookout? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you this, Mr. Bumble, but ships no longer have lookouts. They don't? No. We use technology now to let us know what's wrong with the ship. I think Mr. Timmons has been messing with you again. Oh, well, that's all right. I'm easy means anyways, with my mom, I used to say. Uh, you see, I like to help her around the you know? And deep down, I think Mr. Timmons really likes me. Oh, very deep down. Oh, Excuse me, Captain. I was just looking for my shipmate to give him his orders for the cruise. Yes. Mr. Bumble has been sharing with me some of your more recent orders. Bumble. Sorry. Watch yourself, Mr. Dibbis. Carry on. What are you doing? <coughs> Talking to the captain? <coughs> And you have got some nerves reporting on me? It looks good, Phil. <coughs> what did you say? Uh, I'm, I'm really sorry, Mr. Dimmons. You look really mad. Uh, are, you gonna, are you gonna kill someone? Oh, uh, okay. I'm really sorry. But I have to be extra careful now to stay out of our way. And your way, sir. Humble, you know what? You really irritate me. Now I have a job for you. What I want you to do is... Eddie's Damn it, Bumble! Now I have a very important job for you. Just wait right here. Clean <laughs> the place. It's really dirty. Uh, that, that's an important job, sir. Sure so it is. Uh. Hello there, sir. Welcome aboard the Duchess. The finest little ship on in the ocean. I'm Mr. Tibbins, the captain's first mate. My job is to take over the ship if anything happens to the captain. I'm going to get safe or whatever. If there's anything I can do to make your throat more pleasant, please let me know. Uh, all right. I'm really sorry, sir. Sir, are you okay? Uh, what? I'm, I'm, I'm really not supposed to talk to passengers. I guess this is why. You like to make rules? Not, not usually, sir. I like to talk to people. I find them interesting, you know. Uh huh. Yeah. <coughs> What's your name again, sir? Um, James Bumpin, sir. Doctor Grover Callaghan. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Dr. Cadigan. I'll look at I'll look at it. <laughs> Have you ever heard of me? Um, not that I can say, sir. Young man, do you not watch television? Um, not usually, sir. Not even the news? No. Well, I was on the news. Really? What did you do to get on news? Well, you see, I am the world's only living alchemist. Oh, <coughs> uh, so uh, what's that like? How do you find film are you? You see, I am an alchemist. I can turn any metal into gold. <gasps> really? Is that what you were on TV for? Yes. And so, is that what you're carrying the briefcase? What is about the case? Who are you? Oh, um, James Bumble, so we just met. I don't know you. Stay away from me and stay away from me. Stop, stop, stop. I might not be a bright fellow, 
but that's a strange old man.
someone who's smart, funny, who has a good job, and who speaks the mind. And isn't just a fake to walk up to someone she doesn't know. Hi, um, I'm Samantha Peters. Is this your productions? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, uh, the the ship, the 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 Duchess, the ship. Uh, I'm not making sense, am I? Ah, uh, James Bumble, <laughs> you scared me. Samantha Peters, and I'm sorry I scared you. Samantha Peters? Did you just say Samantha Peters? Yes. I I know your name, but I don't remember your face. I mean, I I would have remembered your face. Oh, because I'm good with faces, you know. I remember faces, but <laughs> not yours. Definitely not yours. I'm I'm rambling. rambling. I'll shut up now. That's okay. I'm a newspaper reporter. You might have read some of my articles. All oh, right. Oh, you're the, you're the reporter, right? Samantha Peters, you're, you know all the real talk stories behind the scenes. Get the ungettable. Yes. Get it? Yes. It was really nice meeting you, and thanks for your help. Um, excuse me. <coughs> Are you here doing a story? No, I'm on vacation. Every reporter needs a vacation, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I thought it would be really cool if you were here doing a story, you know. And why is that? <laughs> well, when you do a story, who have to spend time with them, interview them, and you know, do stuff with them. I, I thought it would be really cool to do stuff with you, like in, like interview and uh, <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Well, I like to do stuff, so maybe I'll do a story. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be that'd be great. See you around, James. She likes. Me. <laughs> you like you like yes, 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 yes. Oh, good. Ah. Ah, yeah. Bumble. Tell me what. Does your incompetence go no end? No, sir. I mean, yes, sir. I mean, <laughs> what was the question again, sir? Shut up! It's time to talk to us. You better come along. <laughs> yes, sir. Pass off, Miss Stevens. Oh, 
What do you do these days? I travel mostly. Um, I've asked about you, but I recently read all about you in the papers. Don't worry, Grover. I don't believe anything they say. They're terrorists, you know. What? I'm sorry. I've forgotten my manners. Please take the seat. I am sure you're not. I am expecting someone. Hey! Mm -hmm. Who? <laughs> I'm here just wait for them. She's over there. The person you're waiting for. The man that Peter, the reporter. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not sure. I, I mean, I can go. Um, it was lovely, lovely meeting you. Um, I'll see you again later.
He couldn't prove to me that he could turn metal into gold. So I told the world that he's a liar. Now all his research is being questioned, his life's work is falling apart, all because I have to get a story. Well, that's really bad, but didn't you just do your job? Not at all. What do you mean? After all that happened, Dr. Carrigan called the newspaper and told him that I never really gave him a chance and that I was the liar. I got fired. What? Yeah, exactly. Samantha Peters is no longer a news reporter. That's the only reason why I'm on this cruise. First of all, it's the only vacation I've had since becoming a reporter. Secondly, I I heard about some of the passengers and I'm looking to improve myself. Yeah. Um, speaking of retention. What do I mean? I can talk to you. Yeah. <laughs>
Bambu, how did you even become a sailor? It's all technology now, Bambu. <coughs> the main computer system isn't functioning, which means the mechanical, electrical, or technology will not work. Oh, so I think you do need a lookout now. I'll look at my binoculars. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm okay. You 
sure. Yeah, I'm fine. I just get excited. Not like Danny, who finds everything as some sort of an adventure. Hard to believe we're together. Are you guys married or what? Yeah, we're here on a honeymoon. <laughs> Too bad. He's kind of cute though. Uh, I mean, you're a lucky girl. Yeah, okay, calm down. Look him up in about a year. He might be well. Wow, you don't sound very positive about your marriage. Let's just say I've known Danny in my entire life. Then if I have to be married, I may kill him. This is absolute rubbish. I'm not even dressed properly. I knew I should have taken a bigger ship.
Now, it looks like no one here can call anyone a liar. Each one of you is hiding something. And obviously, as someone is hiding the fact that he or she is a killer. But let's start small, should we? Who's first? I already told James this, but yes, I did write an article about Dr. Carrigan. And I know I should have scratched the story, but I didn't. And yes, he got me fired, but I'm not looking for revenge. I'm looking for a story. Just one that will get me my job back. And I wanted to apologize to him, but now I'll never get the chance to. Alright. Who's next? I tell you who. You two need to tell the truth. Because that's the same girl. What are you talking about? Oh, come on. It took me a minute. After talking to this creepy Miriam, I know who you are. There is no way you remember us. Sixth grade was not that long ago. Oh, shoot. We went out for what? A week? Daniel Reed? Amanda Sullivan? That's right. Mandy Savage was my stage name. So, this doesn't mean anything. People have three husbands in school all the time and they go to marry someone else. Yeah. But he's not married to you. Isn't I remember you. Sweet little Mavian Reed, Daniel Reed's twin sister. Ew! That's really, really gross. We just let him marry so that he wouldn't know it was us. Who, Dr. Cadigan? Well, we call him Uncle Grover. We lived with him for a couple of weeks after our parents died. It was the sixth day. But no, he didn't want anything to do with us kids. He sent us away to foster care. And we've never seen him again. Until we saw the paper. And here we are all broke where he has all his money. We just wanted him to share a little. So you killed him. That is a fault. We did not kill him. We didn't even get to talk to him. I was just headed over to talk to him and he went over. I never even saw what happened. Like his story. I know. What about you, Gavin? What about me, Bambu? <coughs> I don't know who you think you are talking to, but it ends right now. <coughs> Shut up, Kevin. Take a seat. Says who? Says the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bambu, I would like to know what the FBI is doing in my position. Well, keeping an eye on Kevin's was my first priority. <coughs> but now I would like to solve the problem. Kevin. Uh, would you like to share with you who you really are? Oh, what do you mean? Hmm. What's this? It's, it's a nightingale. And? And uh, an emerald. Okay, fine. I'm Christopher Tibbins, son of... Lorenzo Tiffany, the owner of the Nightingale Life Club. The Mafia? That's why you've been following me? You jump at Oh, it. shut up! Uh -huh. When you got off skittish finding out the club was a front, they sent me here to keep an eye on you, so that I you would... Shh! Ma'am, ma'am, calm down, ma'am, calm down. Well, now it looks like the box came from the instead. If you want me to, I will talk. Sounds good. And you were here talking to Doctor. What are you? He had a deal. I promised him to give him the money if he gave us the gold. <coughs> if he failed, then. So that means you killed him? No, no. I had no hand in his murder. I was too busy taking care of this little singer here. So that is why you call it the Night Angel Night Club, don't you? Huh. A good point, Eddie. And just as how bad was your luck when you were there? What do you mean? I'm a lady. Ladies don't gamble. Well, you surely do. And you're very terrible at it. And isn't that why you were stealing Madame Bingo's jewelry? Is that true, Jetty? Of course not, my dear. You're fired! Good magic! Don't bitch magic! Me! And drop that accent, no one can tell what country you're imitating. You're from Ohio, for God's sake. Oh! oh. Oh, getting that happy, but I have a question for you. Why did you disable the ship?
Captain. Captain! Hi! I did disable the ship's computer. Just before we left the port, I was told that I would be promoted to vice president of the ship. I told them that I did not want a job, that I want to stay here on the ship. But they told me that it wasn't a choice. The first time the power went down was an accident. I was just trying to disconnect the radio. After the murder, I seized my opportunity to shut it all down. I thought if they could see how I could handle the ship under the threat, then maybe they would have missed it. There's no way that this is a death job now. No, no. Probably not. But when they do give you a new job, look me up and I'll tell you where the rooms are. James, are you ever going to tell us who did it? Well, all of you have the reason to, and all of you have the time to. But only one of you got away with the briefcase. Now, this. I found this in cable 13. Gentry Zoo. <gasps> you did You. You figured the gold you needed to pay off your gambling debts in this. And isn't that why you killed the doctor? I just wanted that stupid briefcase, and he wasn't even ready to give it to me. So I hit him with that dog, and the handcuff rope, and he flipped over the railing. But it was all an accident. You will never get me. Never! Ah, the butler! Yes! My God, what Get off me! I know, right? No, I mean the dog. Tutu is my guard dog. <coughs>
James Bumble. And Shun Sri Panikar as Christopher Tibbins. Ajna Sultana as Dr. Grover Cadigan. Meher Gill as Badal Bajina Bahu. Meghna as Gentry. Abigail as Daniel Reed. Somya Rathri as Marianne Reed. Samantha Peters and Muskan as Mandy Star. And the director, the, the, it was directed by Bhagya Lakshmi J and assistant director Anshulti.